All right, well, we're on our final stages of getting this uh, grapple rotator hooked up to this excavator. And uh, I'll just do a quick run through here. So the particular grapple that we have on here is the 1300. And then that's a 40, uh, GR45 rotator. So grapple, rotator, that's a combo that we sell. And then from here, this linkage is also something that we offer. We do offer a hanger that's prefab. Um, we made this one, and you can make your own if you feel like you're up to it. Um, the pin diameter is 30 millimeter. That's probably the, the key to have there. But um, the uh, this part here I purchased. We're a dealer for tag manufacturing. They made that plate. This is um, an actual, uh, I, I guess it's called a work brow. Um, or I used to know him as a Wayne Roy but coupler, but that doesn't matter. Whatever your excavator happens to have, pin grabber or whatever else, you just need to clip into something where you can weld onto it and make it uh, go from there. So we a lot of people get confused because they think that this part is going to pivot off of this pivot pin, and then what do I do with all my linkage and everything else? Well, we're actually going to work. You don't have to undo all that. So right now, if we want to unhook this, we literally pull the pin on this, curl out of it, and we're free of it. And then our hoses are quick couplers, and then our wire for our solenoid is just to pull apart. So we can have this thing popped off and, and change back to a bucket and, well, whatever, a couple minutes. So anyways, we're going to keep dialing things in, tidying things up. We've got this rolled back all the way just to, to kind of get range of motion, and we've got some stop blocks in here so you can see where this is hitting right now so that's as far as this can pivot right and that is to protect these hoses so when it comes back the other way because this plate will rotate 180 degrees when that comes back then this hits here so those are that's why those plates are there is to uh, actually give stops back and forth so we don't overextend our, our our hoses or pinch them so all right so that's kind of our our program on this thing. So we've got uh, electric uh, two, 12 volt momentary coming to this thing to run the solenoid. We've got our two quick couplers. Those two, you got a pressure and return, which are bi-directional, of course, because you can open and close. It goes into our solenoid. Our solenoid's here. And without any voltage to this solenoid, the flow goes in and then right straight through and these two lines will feed the open and close of the grapple if we energize the solenoid it diverts the flow coming in to these lines which then runs our rotator so uh, we've done that on this particular unit we grabbed uh, 12 volts off of the joystick um, which is a we, we grabbed we stole it from the horn so when you hit the horn and hold that and then run your auxiliary hydraulics you'll you'll flip it from open and close to rotation. So we'll obviously get some video of this thing in operation showing all those things. But uh, probably our biggest challenge was kind of, you know, finding our range of motion and how to put our stops in. But uh, lengths of hoses and route, routing hoses uh, took a little bit of time too. So, um, you know, it's a little bit of a project, obviously, to put this thing together, but we could simplify this for you. And if you have some questions, if you're looking to mount one of these on your excavator, uh, we've got uh, we've got the process dialed in at this point. So, if you were to call me up and you wanted to buy this grapple rotator, or the bigger one, or the smaller one, so real quick, this is a 1300. There's an 1100, obviously the smaller, and then there's an 1800. So, the that's how how far open they are at uh, maximum. So this one's 51 inch opening, the 70, 70 inch opening, the smallest one's 40 inch opening. Um, the 1300 and the 1800 share this rotator, which is the 45. Uh, that has a higher rotational torque and it's rated at 10,000 pounds of uh, lift. The 1100 has a little bit less rotation on it. That's a GR30 on that rotator. And... I think that one's rated at 6600 6500 right in there but um anyhow that's uh, a lot of information i'm really good at giving over information if you called me up and said you wanted to 
order a grapple rotator to mount it to your excavator. The things I can provide for you to really speed up your process. Obviously, the grapple rotator is a combo. We can get this hanger kit from, uh, this is Uniforce part here. Uh, and then I can get you this hanger. Like I said, we fab this one, but we can obviously, we can have a, a much cleaner, you know, one for you to, to mount up to. So your responsibility would be from here to your excavator, however you end up wanting to do that. But this is just a weld on part. So I'll put that in your court. Uh, the hose is here. You're going to have to fab up and make. The solenoid, I can provide you. Um, the hose is here back to your excavator and the wiring you're going to have to provide. So, and then on the other end of these hoses, uh, probably the quick couplers you'll need to provide going into your excavator if you've got quick couplers on it. So you do need auxiliary hydraulics to, to do the function like we did. Um, I've talked to folks, could I, if I didn't have auxiliary hydraulics, could I use my, um, bucket curl cylinder? Uh, hydraulics to do it and yeah that could be a possibility um i don't that, i'd have to let you kind of figure that out but you could steal the hydraulics here to run the solenoid you just have to uh come up with uh, something different because then this would be a you wouldn't have any control of where that thing's at so anyhow a little too much information possibly but i spent a lot of time on the phone with folks and they're trying to understand how all this works and hopefully this video, if nothing else, you can kind of see visually how it all goes together. And it might help you uh, with your own project. So once again, if uh, this is something that you're looking to put together, we can be a great resource for you to, uh, to help get it all done. And what an awesome tool. If you're wanting to do uh, feed chippers or load trucks with high sides, um, make big log piles, whatever, this is definitely a... Pretty sweet option for doing all that, so, okay.